this guy really takes me back to my first and only visit to New Orleans. I just love that place. And it's... I, I took a lot of photographs of him, I must admit. I walked around him taking photographs. Because when you have an opportunity like that, you've just got to get as much reference as you can. It was Christmas Eve. The shadows are just amazing, as you can see on there. And it's one that I've used teaching on the ships quite a lot. Different views of him, not always the same, but I love painting this guy. And as long as you take time with the drawing, then no, he paints himself. Um, let's get started with my big brush. And um, we're going to use just two colours, French Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Umber. And I'm going to start with a little bit of the French Ultramarine Blue. And I'm adding just a tiny, tiny bit of brown to that, but I want it more blue. And I'm going to put some shapes down here for the background, but not too much. I don't want it sort of dark like it is, um, but I just want to get a little bit of a feel for a background. So keep it quite light. Pick up on some of the bumps of the paper. I'm using one of my blocks. Darker there. That hat's going to be brown, so the blue behind that will be quite nice. You know, we're sort of just teasing the paper a little bit with blue can come back into there. That jacket's going to be brown so it wouldn't hurt to make that blue. Okay so I think that's probably going to be enough for the background and um, then we'll think about the easy ways of doing this. It's not complicated. The drawing is the key. I will just mention that if you find it easier to um, copy from an actual photograph than trying to get the image down from YouTube, if you join my VIP Patreon or um, the Masterclass uh, membership, um, you will be sent um, photographs of these images um, and you get the YouTube's um, tuition released a little bit earlier but it does mean that you can trace or you can scale up uh, in your own time. Uh, right let's start with the hat. Now I'm going to go for the burnt umber just on its own. I'll get that blue off my brush because it's turning it grey. So a little bit of the burnt umber and let's just put those light shades on to start with. So anything very pale, sort of hint of colour. And I'm going to bring that down into his face. And as we drop down that just gets a little bit darker by his neck so just a little bit more pigment on your brush and I'm going to add a little bit of grey to that as well just pop that there and then the light sort of hitting that bit of hair and then it gets quite dark so we might as well just put that in quickly and then it will all go in very loosely so thicker paint print structure rain burnt umber those are the two magical colours that we're using So that keeps that fairly loose. We will have to put some dark shadows in a little bit later. But for the moment, that, that's the loose effect that I want to achieve. Right, we're breaking it up. So we're not going to make this complicated. We've spent all this time with the drawing. Painting's easy. Don't be frightened. It, it is really easy. So I'm going now for a burnt umber. And into that I'm mixing a little bit of French Ultramarine and I'm keeping it quite pale. So it's a sort of dirty brown colour. And I'm just going to pop that over any of the bits. And obviously not the guitar. So we'll go in a bit later. That so comes down there and then that's there. Might as well go over the dark shape. Pull that out because we didn't want that there. That's possibly a little bit darker, so all we had to 
it is a little bit more of those two paints just to make that darker as we come down there. It's subtle dark, not too much darker. Go over that because I'll put a definite dark shape over that in a minute. A little bit of dark into that there. That can possibly go darker and just on the inside of that sleeve. So as long as you've always got thicker paint going in, more pigment, less water, that won't cauliflower. I'll just catch that little bit that I've gone onto the white. And now we're going to do exactly the same with the trousers and we're going to make the trousers more blue. So same band umber, but into that I'm adding more French ultramarine blue. So this is a definite blue tinge to those trousers. Quite watery. And that will be dark in a minute. But these are the sort of blobby stages where you think, oh, this is never gonna work. And believe it or not, it does. That's quite light there, just pull out a little bit more of that. If that runs, that's fine, we don't mind. slightly darker there so just a little bit more pigment in there. I just love the way these clothes are just baggy on him. No, no tight trousers with no um, no creases. This here is just perfect. He looks like a tramp and he's absolutely perfect to paint. Okay so that needs to be dry now before we go on to do any more and it might look messy to you but that is exactly how I want it to look. Let's carry on with our wishy-washy shades. I'm going to add a little bit more blue to my pearl mix for the shoes just to make them slightly different. It's amazing how many colours or tones and different greys and blues you can make out of just two colours of paint. If that runs, that's all well and good. I'm going to use some very pearl burnt umber just on its own. And we'll just go over the whole lot of that for the moment. The darks will go in later, that's got a light bit showing there. We've probably gone a little bit darker than it is in reality. But only because if I did it as light as it should be, it's not going to show up. Okay, that's all the light bits. Everything else is going to be darker. So now just for the guitar, I think a little bit thicker burnt sienna. And just go straight over everything at the moment. That's And it will look strange until the darks start to go in. That's over that shadow there. Some water on your brush. There's a bit of light hitting it there because it's wood and it's varnished and it's shiny. So that will sort of give us, feel just pull out some of that. And we can maybe pull out a little bit underneath. That will just add to that shininess, keep that a little bit lighter. And I think I'm just gonna put some water around here so that bleeds a soft edge. We don't want that to complicated. We can go on to the end of that whilst that's on our brush, that's sort of the same colour and that would make sense of what we were doing. So it's that shape and that's blue. So a blue with a little bit of brown to make more of a grey and I can just pull through. We can put some white gouache on if we want strings on later or we can make the strings dark you can go the other way so we have two options and a little bit of skin tone which is a mix of the burnt umber with a tiny bit of blue pop those fingers in so see how quickly this is coming together and it will look odd until the dark shapes go in and just thinking, I don't want to make it too complicated for you. Is there anything else that's that sort of tone? Just those mittens and they're blue on their own. So nothing added to it. Very striking little mittens. And a little bit of it showing there and we'll let that dry. Yeah. 
some shadows there which I'm going to pop in now so not watery but just a little bit thicker and darker with the mix of the French Ultramarine and the Burnt Umber and not too much to think about in the colours that's for sure that line goes up there and underneath his neck and there's that little shape down there we can add a bit more dark into that later um, a little bit of shadow on that white and underneath and can't really see anything much there and maybe let's just get that shape of the shoe although we've kept it really simple by keeping it all one colour it's a bit, a bit darker at the back and there so I think now we're ready to do that luscious bit of putting the real darks in which this is where it really comes together because you're looking at this and you're thinking this is a mess this is never going to work just wait and see this is magic so let's start with a hat oh, that's going to be a thick mix of our brown and our blue so hardly any water on your brush dab it off lots of pigment on the brown side and let's just get that shape in there and there's a little bit here and then that comes down like that a little bit of light there you see we're doing exactly what we are seeing and then that shape comes around there just using the tip of my brush no nothing complicated at all we've got a dark shape in there sort of comes around to there and then underneath the rim of the hat just around there we've got a dark bit on that ribbon and a bit of shadow underneath it and a bit of a crinkle there and then there's a bit of a shadow there which is a soft one so I'm just going to get my little brush and with a bit of clear water just soften that one out there and then just soften that one as well and that shape comes into there I see that that's magical we've just added the darks and that that looks like a three-dimensional hat now we're going to carry on doing the same thing onto his coat and we can use that same brown mix that we've mixed up so nice and dark now that shadow comes from under there definite shadow round it there and I'm going to put the very darks in to start with and then we can sort of see where we're going so I don't always do things exactly as you're meant to that comes around his thumb and then on the inside of his sleeve which is there he's got a pocket there and there's sort of crinkles and that's just beautiful and then the sleeve comes on the inside comes around like that to there and then also got a dark bit of his coat behind the sleeve and what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of a gap there so that we can see that that's the sleeve and this is just you know, so satisfying definite dark shape there into there it's a bit of the pocket top and there and then on that corner of the pocket and there dark shadow there it's a bit of a line down there and then go on to the other side still with that same mix of blue and brown lovely dark shadows under there and there's a bit of a shadow here and a few crinkles and then we've got a very dark shadow on there 
see. <laughs> it's just painting itself, isn't it? This is just so easy. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that pigment off and then we've got a few bits like the top of the sleeve there. They're not quite so dark, but they are marks in the crinkles down like that. Across there. And he's starting to really look the part. Right, let's do the darks on the guitar. So I want a more blue, almost black. So mix those two very, very thick with more blue that will make it darker. Hardly any water. Let's just do that circle. Start applying along there. And then there's a bit of a shape of the guitar there that's quite dark. And that end. And a little bit there. Look, there's our guitar. It's just that easy. Now I'm going to add a bit more blue. And we do the shadows on the leg in exactly the same way. So that sort of comes out of there. And I'm doing the very dark bits to start with. And those lumpy bits there. all the time you're sort of squinting looking for shapes that's very dark there so let's just darken that up and maybe just darken that on the inside a bit to make that a different shape I've got bits that come like that underneath that's dark Crinkles. That's dark. That shows up that shoe really nicely. Everything works with each other on this. Dark shape there, dark underneath. Take some of that paint off and there's a few just lighter bits, that sort of bit of shadow there but not as much. And then that sort of comes around. I'm really liking that, I feel I'm in New Orleans. And let's get some of that dark that we've just mixed up onto his shoes. There's that dark shape there, just a very thin outline. And some shoelaces, that wouldn't hurt. Very simple. And a very dark shadow underneath. So you know, we're not really doing very much, but he's really coming together. Now I think for the face, he's got a shadow across there. I'm not going to do it quite as dark as it is, but it is going to be fairly dark. So more brown. I've not put in his sunglasses and then that joins up to the hair there which I can just take it over and make it softer and then a little bit of a paler one for his beard and then on the end okay we'll let that dry see how that goes and then we can put in some real darks. Um, whilst that's drying, let's go on to the chair. I want it dark, but I want it to be a brown dark. So more brown than blue. And then there's a dark rung there. Putting in the very dark ones to start with. That's very dark coming down there. That's dark all the way. So, 
That one's not quite as dark, this one is. It's dark halfway across and there. Okay, just take a little bit of water onto that so it's just a little bit lighter in tone. And we can put that down to there, underneath. Bit of a shape there. Let's just go over that one and then the shadow from him on the top bit and then that goes down to the bottom. Okay, we're making really good headway. I'm just going to use my little brush now and I'm going to mix up a brown shadow for under his nose. It's a very thick and we don't want to put a lot of detail in but there is that shape that sort of comes like that there's a bit of shadow on his lip there decided not to put his glasses in i don't think that would help underneath the beard there's a bit of a shadow that's sort of that's darker there yeah that that just works so well i'm really really pleased with that let's get a bit of definition into this guitar it doesn't have to be the exact colour. Let's add some blue. No we're making up our colours we could do anything we wanted really. And maybe a bit of a line around. Then I'm going for the brown for a few of the little shadows in his fingers. What we don't want to do is to get stuck into detail which could so easily happen but this will just make a little bit of sense of what he's doing. Um, there's a dark shadow there that we'll put in in a minute and that thumb sort of like that. Dark shadow there. Okay, take some of that paint off and that finger there. All those two are bent over, so just a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to put a shadow onto the guitar. That can be brown. And that comes from under his arm and it comes across there, under there and all the way around there. Oh, that's sitting so nicely. We want a bit more dark here so just sort of keep squinting anything that hits you that needs to go in darker that can go in at this point so they come around there it's very dark it's all dark all the way down yep Follow that down. It's a bit darker. Just nothing is straight, it's just brilliant. It's the top of the pocket. I think I could go even darker with that bit and between the arm. So add some more blue to the brow. Just squint a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And that really feels like I'm in New Orleans. I just loved it there. So we need to now get a shadow to anchor him down. And also, also I've got my thin brush and I've got some of that dark shadow. Just gonna put a little bit of dark shadow for the tie. This comes around there, down there, split a little bit. A little bit of lighter shadow there. Okay, so you have a size 16 brush. I have a bluish shadow I think on the ground. So it's got a little bit of brown in it. Be careful that you draw out the shadow. 
beforehand because we don't want to fiddle with this. I've not done it actually as dark as it is in reality. That comes up there. And right off the edge. I'm not sure what that one is but we'll put it in and no maybe a little bit of a shadow coming up here wouldn't hurt there was a guy with a washboard there that balances it now I lied we haven't just used two colors we're going to now use a little bit of alizarin red now can you guess where we're going to put that I think you probably can it's nice and thick and I'm going to pop that into that tie Some dark coming down there. Take off some of that where the light's hitting it a little bit. Let's pull that through. Wow, that just stands out. So, yeah, this is one of the things that I teach quite a lot on the ships, along with very diverse subject matter. So look out in the, the coming weeks for lots more. And I really hope that you enjoy painting this. There's always... An afterthought. Guess what I've forgotten? I haven't put in those guitar strings. Just a thick mix onto the end of a car. Just rub it along with your brush. It needs to be quite thick for this to work. We don't have to do every single string. Just take that off. Nope, that's perfect. We will leave that as it is. So we really have finished now. Thank you for watching.